Soundtrack from Griggsville Perry. Soundtrack, soundtrack from Griggsville Perry.
regional basketball action from the Nick, Grigsville, Illinois. Grigsville Perry hosting a first round game against the Greenview Bulldogs. Damon Emmerich alongside, John Hall running the computer. We've got camera help tonight. I'm Jack Hall. I'll be doing the color commentary. Damon on the call. And Grigsville Perry comes in with a record of 26 and 5. A win tonight could possibly give them the best record in Grigsville history, is what somebody told me earlier today. And Greenview comes in with a record of 4 and 23. They're a young team. Nine of their 12 young people are sophomores and freshmen. And uh, they're just trying to get their program back underway. But Grigsville Perry needs to take care of business tonight. They could have a date with Jacksonville route on Wednesday night at New Berlin. And we'll be there for that action, too, to bring you all that. Tonight, also, we've got a game with Liberty and Payson at Payson this evening in a first-round game as the higher seeds get the host. This is the Great Rivers Bank pregame show with locations in Pittsfield, Barry, Liberty, and Animal. Here to help you with your lending and personal banking needs. Friendly service, dedicated loan officers. They can help you through Biles and Lender. We'll talk to one of those lenders when we come back on the pregame show right after these. Are you looking to streamline your banking? Great Rivers Bank has just what you need with our streamlined checking and savings accounts. Earn high interest rates or get cash back on debit card purchases with your qualifying account. Plus, ATM fee refunds. Certain qualifications required. Call or visit our website today at www.greatriversbank.bank to get started. Great Rivers Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. There's a road that makes all the difference. The difference between the good and the great. The road less traveled for the few who can handle the grind. One of hard work, dedication, integrity, and leadership. With a respect for heritage and tradition and a willingness to adapt. At Little Jess, we travel that road every day because we believe in that difference. And we dare our competition to try and keep up. Little Jess, serving the tri-state area since 1969. Best Systems Insulators offer insulation for homes and commercial buildings throughout central Illinois and the surrounding areas. We take great care to ensure that the insulation products we use are the best fit for our clients and their project. We understand that different buildings have different needs and that each of our clients has a unique set of goals. Let us work with you to find the best solution for your next project. Call Best Systems Insulators at 217-285-6005. That's 285-6005. Or visit them online at gobestsystems.com. Grab the game while your kids are busy. You know, streaming, gaming, and homework. Now you can teach your kids the value of a dollar by showing bundles with Cascom. Bundle telephone, internet, and TV. Bundle two for a double play or three for a triple play. Plus, save $20 a month for three months for a limited time. Then you can tell everyone how you help them with their math homework. Call Cascom about bundles today at 1-800-252-1799. Cascom at 1-800-252-1799. The thing for me that really separates DOT, senior leadership and the owners of the business really focus on employee engagement. We have some of the best people managers. The Tracy family, senior leaders throughout the business, really all of our leaders care about the employees that work here. And that allows for a lot of families to come work at DOT Foods and I think that's part of it is being able to have all those different schedules and the flexibility to be able to move things around when life happens. From bag, to field, to bin, Prairieland FS is your home for quality seed. We treat it right here at one of our local facilities, deliver it right to your farm, and then provide the propane to fuel your bins. Have confidence in what you're putting in your engine with our energy specialist. They're focused on maximizing power, fuel efficiency, and engine protection to keep you going. We're neighbors serving neighbors. Prairieland FS, your leading supplier of choice. Welcome back on the Great Rivers Bank pregame show. If you're in the market for a new home loan, talk to the experts at Great Rivers Bank. Locations in Barry Pittsfield and Liberty, Illinois, and Hannibal, Missouri, serving the entire region and beyond. Check out the online loan applications at greatriversbank.bank. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. And one of my favorite people from the Great Rivers Bank crew, even though I like most everybody there, uh, Damon Emmerich alongside. And Damon, first round regional action. Last couple years it's been like this. Luckily they didn't start it on a Saturday this year. But uh, you get to host that first round game. How do you feel about a 16-team regional sectional complex where everybody plays in the first round? Well, 
I think it makes things be pretty interesting, Jackie. Obviously, uh, we get to see the subsectional pairings that come out, and then, uh, you know, more prognosticators now than what we've ever seen with expectations of who might be going where. Obviously, one of the big ones that a lot of folks seem to follow is Nesto Hoops. And, you know, it's always interesting when you look at where teams are going to be going and how, how things will play out. And I feel like this regional right here, the, uh, the New Berlin Regional, as part of the Whitehall sectional and obviously the Jacksonville super sectional. But I feel like this regional right here where we'll see the semifinals and the final played at New Berlin, this is one of the toughest in 1A basketball right here. As, as you mentioned, potentially Griggsville Perry, if they win this matchup, would face off against Jacksonville route on Wednesday. You'll also have Springfield Calvary and New Berlin as part of that regional if seeds play out and those teams win tonight. So very tough regional that these, this group is all a part of. It's interesting because quite honestly, this Greenview team was not originally in this subsectional setup and ISD was an unknown, but both of them came in. There's 240 plus teams in 1A basketball. This one has 16 teams and I really like this for the one and the two seeds because I think sitting around is a bad idea when everybody else gets to play, especially when you're playing a six seed like Ralph. Well, the only difference now is it was always good back in the day when the top seed didn't necessarily host that first round game. You know, in this case, Griggsville Perry, if they win, will go into the contest on Wednesday night at New Berlin, having not played in that gym. So it always Ever. gave you an opportunity yep. to play a home game like or play a game on the floor where you're going to be playing the rest of the tournament. But it is. It, it's nice where we saw Griggsville Perry had their senior night activities last week, but it gives these kids one more opportunity to play on their home floor and try to close it out with yet another victory. But even though Greenview is going to come into this ball game with maybe not the best record on schedule, you watch these kids warm up. There's some athleticism out there on the floor. They've got some youth on their roster, so you can never come in looking ahead to your next game because in postseason, if you don't have a good night, that's going to be your last game of the year. And the key thing is just to take care of business. When we come back, we'll talk about the Westtown Ford keys to the game, Griggsville Perry and Greenview here at the Nick on Central Illinois Sports. Hey, grab me one, too. When it comes to financial planning, most financial companies focus on your income. At Northwestern Mutual, we focus on your outcome. That's why we know what it takes to succeed both on your balance sheet and in your life. It takes the right financial partner who looks at where you are now and where you want to go and design a financial plan to take you there so you can achieve the life you're after today and every day after. Focus on your financial outcome with Northwestern Mutual. Contact Sheila Davidsmeyer today. Her office is located at 311 West Washington in Pittsfield, Illinois or visit SheilaDavidsmeyer.nm.com, the Northwestern Mutual Life Insurance Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Every day, banks touch every corner of our lives. They support us when we turn life's goals into accomplishments. Goals like opening a small business, buying a home, planting a crop, having a baby. From your first car to life after retirement, Central State Bank is there for all of your life's milestones. CSB is central to your banking needs. Visit us in Clayton, Kinderhook, Pittsfield, Pleasant Hill, and Quincy or at CSB123.com. Central State Bank wishes all of the teams well on the hardwood this week. PCRE Real Estate and Auction is your number one resource for buying or selling real estate in West Central Illinois. With two office locations, one in Pike County and the other in Calhoun County, PCRE Real Estate and Auction is the place to go when you're looking to buy or sell farmland, recreational and hunting land, residential or commercial property. See our current listings at PCRERealEstate.com or call us at 217-285-5800 for PCRE Real Estate and Auction. Great Rivers Bank pregame show on Central Illinois Sports. Couple games coming your way tonight. Three on Wednesday and as many as we can get to on Friday night as we've got four crews when uh, Charlie doesn't have a school board meeting. You know, some of those guys doing those things, Damon, but 
when you look at the keys to the game for Greenview, even though we haven't seen them, it's the same old thing. you got to take care of the basketball, slow the game down, don't let it get in too big a hurry, and that's a tough task when you got guards like the Lipkeman boys. Yeah, I think for Greenview, this Bulldog squad needs to come out, as you say, Jack, take care of the basketball, but try to have as few possessions as possible. You want to run as much time off the clock as you possibly can. Getting the ball across the half court stripe has been the biggest challenge for most teams this year as they have play, when they've played Griggsville Perry because you do have, you've got the twins that have quite a bit of RC experience and Lane and Wyatt Lipkin that set the tone out front. Michael Myers is always there in the middle. He comes up with a lot of steals of those passes. If they're not thrown crisp enough, he's able to step in and steal it and lead the fast break. So for the Bulldogs, take care of the basketball, limit Griggsville Perry on how much they can get out and going, and then just make sure that they stay out of foul trouble because this is a tornado squad that throughout most of the season has done a pretty good job if they can get to the free throw line. I am not trying to make this 100% for sure, but Griggsville heavily favored in this game. I think Garrett White would like to see Greenview come out with a zone so they'll get that same look they might get against Route because Route's going to play that 1-2-2 zone. Yeah, for head coach Garrett White, he's going to come out and he obviously wants his team to set the tone early. He wants to see them come out and be aggressive. Griggsville Perry had two victories last week over Triopia as well as over Calhoun. Garrett White wasn't real happy with how his squad played in either one of it's those. It's time to be it's thinking always about tax planning. to win ugly than to lose pretty, but he really wants his team to come out and set the tone early as they were the week before when they had a couple of nice victories and really came out. Go- have a long run win a game that they almost didn't and this isn't that game you want it to be you might want it to be wednesday or friday but getting used to that new berlin floor will be a little different because routes played there quite a bit over the years and uh, that route squad even though i think griggsville perry maybe has a little bit of an edge on them that's going to be a tough matchup down the road we don't mean to look past things but the other thing is you want to get out of here tonight with everybody clean no no injuries whatsoever well, the Route Rockets had a uh, had a tough defeat on Friday night against a very athletic Beardstown Tigers squad. But you know, Jack, Route fell to Griggsville Perry on their home floor this year by a score of 48-32. But one thing that we have seen in the past with the Rockets, with head coach Will Whalen and also assistant Jeff Abel there, is they're very good at making adjustments. And typically, what you did well against them one time, you're not going to be able to do the same thing right there. But for head coach Garrett White, obviously he's looking ahead to Wednesday night. You don't get in too much foul trouble in the postseason. Most of the time they don't call it quite as tight. We're very close to the national anthem. We're going to just kind of hang on here for just a little bit more as John makes a few adjustments this evening. Glad you've joined us for the broadcast. And uh, what's that? Okay. Are you okay now? Okay. We're trying to get the internet rolling good for you folks, and if we can, we'll do a little bit extra. I'll put my hotspot on too, just in case. I think we can go ahead and take a break. When we come back, we'll have the national anthem first, then we'll have the starting lineups on the Farm and Home Supply starting lineups on Central Illinois Sports. It's time to be thinking about tax planning. You can count on Illinois FBFM for accounting, consulting, and tax preparation for farmers and businesses in Pike, Brown, and Adams Counties. Call 217-593-7233. That's 593-7233. Illinois FBFM can take care of your farm accounting needs. Get your accounts in order for this tax season. Contact Jesse Schumann and Emily Matthews at Illinois FBFM in Camp Point, working for you.
Tonight's starting lineups are sponsored by Farm and Home Supply. From snacks and hoodies to power tools, lawn chairs, and much more, no other place has it like your local Farm and Home Supply. Here's Damon Emmerich with your starting lineups. Well, first off for the visiting squad in this one, the Greenview Bulldogs under head coach Adam Aldridge and assisted by Hunter Edwards. The Bulldogs come into this contest with a record of 4-23. and 23. They will start the following. At one guard, a senior, Carson Davis. At another guard, a sophomore, Jeremy Folk. And at the third guard position, a senior, Nick Turley. At one forward, a sophomore, Jacob Hyen. And the fifth starter for the Bulldogs, a sophomore, Preston Steinkruger. Davis, Folk, Turley, Hyen, and Steinkruger, the starting five in this one for Adam Aldridge's Greenview Bulldogs. And for the Griggsville Perry Tornadoes and head coach Garrett White, assisted by Keenan Yelly and Matt Hansen, they come into this contest with a record of 26 and 5, and the Tornadoes will start the following. At one guard, a 5'9 senior, Wyatt Lipkeman. At another guard position, a 5'9 freshman, Brody Rush. And at the third guard position, a 5'9 senior, Lane Lipkeman. At one forward, 6'3 senior, Michael Myers. And the fifth starter for the Tornadoes, 6'4 senior, Dane McAllister. Lipkeman, Lipkeman, Rush, McAllister, and Myers will be the starting five here in this one for Garrett White and his Griggsville Perry Tornadoes. And that right there is your farm and home starting lineup. Thank you to Eric Lister for running the camera tonight, and we're ready to play basketball. Myers will jump center for the Tornadoes. For the Bulldogs, it is Turley. Ball is going to be tipped out of bounds, and they will say it is Bulldogs basketball. Well, I disagreed on the very first call of the game. I'll be done. And the Vegas odds have a payout already. Three seconds into the ball game. Turley with it for the Bulldogs. He'll pull up free throw line. His first shot is up and no good. Lipko in with the rebound for Griggsville Perry, and he'll push it into the front court. Looks like they are in a zone defense here. The Bulldogs jack to start. It's really going to be a 2-3 defense. Griggsville Perry's first shot will be a three from the left corner for Michael Myers. It is up and good, and Myers quickly has three for his squad. Griggsville Perry will pick up in their patented full court 2-3 defense. And in the backcourt, picking it up is Turley. He gets it into the front court to Davis. Ball's going to be knocked out of bounds. Possession will remain with the Bulldogs. Nice job by Greenview, taking their time and not panicking in that full court pressure. A young squad with nine of their 11 in the sophomore and freshman class. Nice find right there on the inbounds pass, and then Greenview is going to have a turnover. That'll be their first as Myers had the steal. Into the front court, Myers is going to put up the three. His shot is up off the iron, no good. Folk with the rebound, and he's going to look to bring it into the front court. Got to get past the double team of the Lipkin twins. Picks it up in the backcourt and gets it off to Davis. Davis, left wing will have it. That's to Turley. Turley's three-pointer's up and no good. Offensive rebound controlled by Steinkruger. And then a turnover against the Bulldogs. They're second. Quickly into the front court. That's Wyatt left when he's going to attack the bucket. His shot is up and good. He's got his first two. And the Tornadoes have the early 5-0 lead. 6.40 to play here, first quarter action. Into the front court, not a good spot to pick it up there if you're the Bulldogs. It's a steal. Wyatt Lipkin with it. He goes coast to coast. Shot up and good. He's got four. Gregsville Perry seven. Greenview nothing. 6.25 to play here in the first quarter. And almost another turnover there by the Bulldogs. But they're going to say it went out of bounds off of Lane Lipkin. Possession will remain with the Tornadoes. Pretty patented Lipkin's bodying up on you. You really got to play tough. And now the ball heading to the other end. That's to Turley. Turley did a nice job to track that one down, and he'll get it out top to Folk as the Bulldogs look to set up an offense. Folk, one dribble, picks it up, needs to find somebody, finally does. That's to Davis. Actually, that's Turley. Turley will back it out with six minutes to go here in the quarter. He'll get it left wing Davis. His three-pointer is up and no good. Myers with the rebound, his first. Myers going to bring it into the front court. Nice job to look ahead to Dane McAllister. Layup up and good. Gregsville Perry's got a 9-0 lead. Greenview will take a timeout. We'll take it to 9-0. Griggsville Perry over Greenview. This is an Adams Network timeout. Game Masters is your headquarters for all your hunting gear. We have more than just camo hunting attire. Come check out our casual lines of Sitka, Under Armour, North Face, Columbia, Drake, and more. 
Pursue your prey with these off-road quiet cat bikes from Game Masters. Easy to transport and perfect for your next hunting adventure. Game Masters, we're passionate about the outdoors. Seed selection is one of the important decisions required to achieve yield goals. Logan AgriService represents top seed lines in the industry like Lewis Hybrids, Stein Seed, and AgriGold, and focuses on products developed to meet or exceed our customers' expectations. Sit down with one of our experienced local seed experts who will work with you to help select top-producing corn hybrids and soybean varieties tailored for your specific soils and fertility levels. Or visit us online at loganag.com. Logan AgriService, serving agriculture since 1962. Bulldogs will have the basketball coming out of the timeout. Full court pass is going to be stolen away. That's a steal by Myers. He's going to bring it into the front court. Picks it up. Gives it left wing to Lane Lipgren. He'll go back into the corner for Myers. Another three for him is on the way. He buries it. Myers has got six. Greg Zilperi's got the 12-0 lead. And this is the type of start that Garrett White wanted to see from his squad in this one. Especially seeing Michael Myers hit a couple of threes and gain that confidence he'll need in the rest of the postseason. Turley brings it into the front court. He gets it to Davis. Davis puts the Bulldogs on the board. Nice three right there by Carson Davis for the Bulldogs' first three points of the contest. McAllister, nice look up top of the key. Wyatt Lipkin, he puts it on the floor. He'll pull up for the shot about four foot out. He's got another two. Give him six. And right away, Tornadoes get back into their defense. Folk with the basketball. He'll get it into the front court to Davis. Davis's pass is going to be stripped. Steinkruger will track it down in the back backcourt, but we're going to have a held basketball and a turnover against the Bulldogs as the possession arrow favored the Tornadoes. That's the fifth turnover of the contest for against the Bulldogs as we see Brody Rush takes a seat for Grigsville Perry. Garrett Woodward checks into the contest for the first time in this one. Woodward adds a little bit more size, too. He can play kind of that rotation place. Woodward kicks it out to Myers. Myers puts up a three from a different corner this time. It's no good, and it will go out of bounds. It will favor the Bulldogs. A very tough spot to inbound the basketball right there if you're Greenview. I would think that uh, Garrett White would like them to settle down shooting threes now and really start running some motion offense. And pass is going to be tipped away. Lane Lipkin with the steal. He gets it to Myers. Myers gets it to Lane Lipkin. Shot was no good. Myers is there to clean it up. And the putback. Myers has got eight. Griggsville Perry's got their largest lead of the ball game at 13 on the sixth turnover from the Bulldogs. Davis has the basketball stripped away. He and Lane Lipkin fought for it. And then Lane Lipkin will be whistled for the foul. That'll be his first. Lane's first team, first of the ball game. Clean game so far. Into the game for Greenview comes Jackson Ford. And uh, Jackson is a freshman. Really young squad here are these Bulldogs. Sprinkle a few seniors into the starting lineup, but they definitely go very young. Nice job there to split the double team for Folk. He got it to Steinkruger, who got it out top to Davis. Now, Turley and Davis are that uh, two seniors that can kind of give you a little bit of leadership, but when you're pulling along those young guys, it's tough. McAllister knocks the pass away. Lipkeman ends up with it. He gets it into the front court to Dane McAllister. Spin move for him, shot is up and no good, but he'll go to the line to shoot two after being fouled by Steinkruger. Steinkruger will pick up his first foul of the ball game, first one on the Bulldogs, and it'll be free throws for Dane McAllister, first ones we've seen to the night. 16 to 3, misses the first, and here comes the second. PCRE Real Estate and Auction Inc. is your number one resource for buying or selling real estate in West Central Illinois or Northeastern Missouri. If you're looking to buy as McAllister misses the second, buy, sell, or auction farmland, hunting land, residential or commercial property, you've come to the right place. Contact PCRE Real Estate.com or 217 285 5800. That's PCRE Real Estate and Auction, also our scoreboard sponsor for the season. Woodward's. Go ahead. Woodward's going to get on the board for Grigsville Perry. A nice look from Myers there to find him. And then a steal on the inbound pass. Wyatt Lipkin with the steal. Gets it to Lane Lipkin. Down low. Myers will go up for another two. Myers has got ten. Grigsville Perry's got the 20-3 to three lead. And Greenville will take another timeout. It's their second timeout. It's an Adams Network timeout. Adams Fiber timeout. On the court, top-notch local computer sales and service. Call Adams Experts, 217-214. 31, 34, 23 for fast, friendly, and affordable service. It's an Adams Network timeout back in 30 seconds. 
The Farmers National Bank of Griggsville with locations in Griggsville, Mount Sterling, and Pittsfield. Maybe you ask, why choose Farmers National Bank of Griggsville? The answer is simple. Local people, local decisions, and local commitment with local investments. We have many products and services to meet your needs. We invite you to find out more about us. Go to fmbgriggsville.com and explore all the services we offer. Visit any of our three friendly locations in Mount Sterling, Griggsville, and Pittsfield today. The Farmers National Bank of Griggsville. Local people helping local people. Member FDI. I see. We come back, 314 left in the first quarter of play on the PCRE Real Estate and Auction scoreboard. 20 to 3, Griggsville Perry with the lead. And we haven't played five minutes yet. Yeah, I don't know what the record for points is at the Nick, and I know Garrett won't do that, but my goodness, they're putting some points up. Yeah, Griggsville Perry has come out, and this is what Garrett White wanted to see out of his squad. Wants them to make sure that they stay aggressive here. As Eight. Davis with the basketball. His pass is going to be deflected. Lane Lipton will track it down. It's a turnover against the Bulldogs. He goes coast to coast. Bucket up and good, and he'll go to the line to shoot two or to shoot for the and one. Will Lane Lipkeman. Lipkeman picks up his first two points of the night. And we'll try to see who the foul was on. Thank you. Shot up is good. The foul was on Steinkruger, and that'll be his second. Steinkruger's got two. He'll go to the bench now as we will see Jacob Hyen. Hyen started in this ball game for the Bulldogs, and he'll come back in as Griggsville Perry now has the 23-3 lead. Last time I saw uh, Greenview here, their coach was now the head coach over at uh, Jacksonville High School. He was the head coach at Greenview. Wyatt Lipkin with a near steal. Ball out of bounds. It will be... Bulldogs basketball to inbound in front of their own bench. Gets it in. That's to Jackson Ford. Out top it goes. That's to Turley. Davis has the basketball. He's the lone Bulldog to get into the scoring column thus far in this one. As Turley will spin move, kick it out to Folk. So will you see Griggsville Perry come out of this and play a man-to-man as they get farther into the tournament at times? Well, we don't see Griggsville Perry come out of it much. This is what they're comfortable in as we see Davis put up the three. Wyatt Lipkin tips the rebound to brother Lane Lipkin into the front court quickly for the Tornadoes. Wyatt Lipkin with it. He gets it to Myers. Myers attacks the middle and he's going to run into the block from High End. Myers will go to the line to shoot two. High End will pick up the foul. His first team third put Myers at the free throw line to shoot a pair. Ten on the night. 23-3. to 203 left in the quarter. Myers misses the first. The Illini Express is here to serve you with walk-in medical care when you need it. Open 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. every Monday through Saturday. The Illini Express sees patients ages 18 months and older with no appointments necessary. Myers makes the second biggest lead right now. The Illini Express is now in the main campus of the Illini Community Hospital. Learn more about the services they offer by visiting IlliniHospital.org. Down low with it, high end, reverse layup for him is up and no good. Woodward gets the rebound for Griggsville Perry. He pushes it quickly into the front court. Right wing with it to Wyatt Lipkin. Down low to Myers. He's going to kick it out for a three from Lane Lipkin. Shot is up and good. Lane Lipkin's got another three. He's got six. Griggsville Perry has 27 points, and there's still a minute 30 to play here in the opening quarter. It's coming off of the defense and the turnovers, and another shot coming here. Nine turnovers in the first quarter. Pass quickly into the front court to Hyen. Nice feed down low to Jackson Ford. Ford's got his first two. And even though it's not been a good opening start for the Bulldogs, that was a nice play right there to break that zone defense of the Tornadoes. Right wing with it for Griggsville Perry is Lipkman. That's Wyatt Lipkman. He'll put up a three. It's good. Griggsville Perry's lead out to 25 with less than a minute to play here in the opening quarter. In the backcourt with it is Folk. Haven't seen this many points since Quincy High School used to do that with Michael Payne. Ten turnover now on Greenview as a man drugged the foot. 48.5 seconds left, 30-5 to five on the PCRE Real Estate and Auction scoreboard. Dane, and Dane McAllister back into the contest for Griggsville Perry. Garrett Woodward takes a seat. Earlier in the ballgame, we saw Logan Fensick check in for the first time. McAllister's shot is going to be short. Rebound comes down to Greenview. That's Turley. He's going to pull up for the two. 
His shot is no good. Michael Myers with the rebound for Grigsville Perry, and they'll bring the ball into the front court with 30 seconds to play. Myers will put up the three on a pass back from Lipquin. Uh, offensive rebound's going to be, well, rebound's going to be knocked out of bounds. They're going to say that went off of Turley, so it will be Grigsville Perry basketball. 27.9 seconds to play here in the opening quarter. Inbounds pass is going to go down low. Wyatt Lipquin's shot is no good. He tips the rebound back. Dane McAllister will get the offensive rebound. Gets it to Lane Lipquin. Right wing Logan Fensick will put up the three. His three is up and good. Fensick's got another three. It's 33-5. Actually, it's Fensick's first three. Grigsville Perry has another three. Then Fensick gets the steal. He gets it to Wyatt Lipquin. He's going to attack the bucket. His layup is up and good. And Grigsville Perry is going to end quarter number one with a 35-5 lead. And that's how we will go to the second quarter. Grigsville Perry 35, Greenview 5, back with second quarter play-by-play -play in a minute. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the beautiful and historic city that is Pittsfield, Illinois, a community that feels like home. Home to over 4,000 residents, a progressive and growing community serves as an amazing place to live, learn, work, and play. With civic, charitable, family, and recreational activities available, you'll never be bored here. Attend an event or festival, play some disc golf on a new championship course, spend the day fishing, or even catch a Civil War reenactment. As a community driven by success, Pittsfield provides numerous incentives to assist citizens and local businesses. Our goal in Pittsfield is to truly advance and prosper. Staying healthy is made easy here, with access to doctors, dentists, and other medical specialists throughout the community. People come to Pittsfield for a variety of reasons. Stately historical homes, an abundance of natural resources, hunting, scenic areas along the Illinois and Mississippi rivers, festivals, recreational opportunities, and much more. People stay in Pittsfield simply because life here is great. Picture yourself in Pittsfield today. Sheila Davidsmeyer, Northwestern Mutual, providing us with the replays tonight, 35-5 to after one quarter. Greenview's turned it over 10 times, and two guys in double figures already for Grigsville. Another turnover to start the second quarter for the Tornadoes. Lane Lipton gets it to Michael Myers, and he goes up for the slam. And you'll see that one here in just a second on the Northwestern Mutual instant replay. Well, if not, we're going to fire John, but we're not going to fire John because we don't know what we're doing. Haven't seen hops like that since Jack Hall. That's right. When I was on a, one of those bouncy things in Quincy. Turley with the three for the Bulldogs. His shot's no good. McAllister with the rebound, his second. He's going to go coast to coast. He'll split the middle. They're going to say that the foul is on the floor, so it will be Tornadoes basketball. And, Jack, one of the things that makes Grigsville Perry tough is most of the time any of the five guys out on the floor, if they get that defensive rebound, they can take off with it and go coast to coast. Yeah, and shoot to three. They got a lot of guys to shoot to three, and now we got to hold away from the ball, and let's see what that call is. Foul's going to be whistled against Hyen for the Bulldogs. That'll His be Hyen's second. First in the quarter. 37 to 5. 32 point lead. McAllister with it down low. He wraps it around, kicks it out top to Myers. Right wing to Wyatt Lipman or Lane Lipman. Back out top to Myers. His three is no good. Hyen with the rebound for the Bulldogs, and then he'll be whistled for the offensive foul as he just tried to clear a little bit too much space there. So it'll be a turnover against the Bulldogs. He's got three fouls, and that is the second foul of the quarter and the second on him, 12 turnovers, and we aren't going to keep adding them up all night long. There's nothing to, to kind of gain on that. Grigsville Perry with the ball down low. The tip up by McAllister, no good, and we're heading the other way. Steinkruger chums, comes back into the ball game for Greenview with his two fouls. Jackson Ford with it right now. His pass deflected, stolen away. Wyatt Lipkin with the steal. He gets it into the front court. Michael Myers tracks it down. Down low, that's McAllister. Spin move. He kicks it right wing. Logan Fensick puts up the three. His shot is no good. Offensive rebound is Myers, and he'll pull it back out. His pass nearly stolen away. No turnovers on Grigsville, by the way. Fensick is with it down low. He'll put it on the floor, attack the bucket. His shot is no good. Turley with the rebound. I like seeing the two big guys from Grigsville go to the basket. That's going to be a difference for them in the postseason if they can make some of those baskets and square their shoulders up. Yeah, and Fensick's a guy that when he's out on the floor, you have to respect the fact that he can shoot the three. As McAllister blocks it away, rebound into the hands of Wyatt Lipkin. He goes coast to coast. 
finds Dane McAllister. Spin move for him. Couldn't get it to go. Almost a great play on both ends of the floor right there. But this is what you like to see if you're Garrett White. Dane McAllister has stayed out of foul trouble and been aggressive in this one. And Dane's really a guy that Garrett White's squad needs to have out on the floor. Yeah, Dane can can't do that spin move much, though, because you kind of lose track. Not everybody can make that move. Yeah. Davis attacks the bucket. His shot from the free throw line. Nice job to fight through. Contact is up and good. Then Greenview will take a timeout. We'll take it to Grigsville Perry 37, Greenview 30. It's an Adams Network timeout. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. You've heard that phrase many times in Rod Prentice in Pittsfield. Your State Farm agent is the guy you can count on to be your friend and neighbor in the insurance business. He has a complete line of insurance available for you from State Farm Insurance. You can reach him at 217-285-6930. Our family trusts Rod Prentice with all of our insurance needs. Stop by their office on Washington Street and see the girls in Rod Prentice, your State Farm agent, 217-285-6930. 5.40 left in the second quarter, 37-7 to here, and here comes the tornado attack. Lane Lipkin uses the screen from Woodward. Free throw line, McAllister. He finds a cutting Michael Myers in the back, court, back door. That's another two for Myers. He's got 15. 15 on, on the night. And near steal from Wyatt Lipkin. Pass is deflected. Track down. That was by Folk. Down low with the bucket up and good for the Bulldogs is Reed Aller. Aller's got his first two points of the ball game as the 5'10 sophomore guard puts it up for this Bulldog squad. Wyatt Lipkin finds Myers cutting across the lane. Nice screen there at the top of the key. Myers has got another two. He's got 17. And right now, if you're Griggsville Perry, what you really want to do is you want to have focus on executing your offense. You know that you can get the easy buckets. You've seen that. But you've got to be more crisp on the offensive end and really get ready to go for Wednesday night. Myers gets the rebound on the missed three from Davis. Into the front court. McAllister has it. He'll go to the rim. Shot for him is up and no good. But he's going to go to the line to shoot two after being fouled by Davis. Davis will pick up the foul. His first third team foul of the quarter. Free throws to be shot by McAllister. Okay. Just two of five from the free throw line. McAllister misses the first chance for him to get another two. It is a 4.31 second quarter time, 41 to nine right now. Rebound on the missed free throw is Davis. He's going to quickly push it into the front court. Find the back dribble. He loses it. McAllister with the steal. Gets it to Wyatt Lipman. Off the rim. He, Michael Myers thought he was going for the oop, but Wyatt Lipman put the layup in. He's got seven. Oh, that's Wyatt. Oh, my mistake. Actually, that's Lane. I thought it was yeah. Lane. Can't you tell them apart? What's your problem? You know, identical twins. Both have a three in their number. Fire the broadcaster. That's right. Eric Lister's taking over on the play-by-play. -play. He's, he's got a day job. We don't have to have him here. Yes, we do. Folk with the basketball for the Bulldogs. He's going to hand it off to Davis. Davis splits the screen right there. Gets it to Turley. Turley will put up the three. Can't get that to go. Offensive rebound down low. That is Folk. And before he could get the shot up, He's going to be fouled on the floor. That'll be the first foul of the quarter against the Tornadoes, and it'll be whistled against Dane McAllister. McAllister's first team, first of the second quarter. Bulldogs will inbound. That's to Aller. Aller finds a nice pass down low. That was to Folk. Folk kicks it back out top to Aller. Hard to miss Aller out on the floor with those bright shoes. Left wing with it for the Bulldogs. That's Turley. Back out to Aller. He'll get it to Turley. Thought about the three, didn't take it. And instead, he'll go down low. That's to Folk. Folk will pull up for the two. His shot is no good. Garrett Woodward with the rebound. He's on one on four break on the front court. Kicks it back out top, and Griggs Perry will set up an offense with 3.10 to go here in the first half of play. Lane Lipman with it. He'll kick it left wing to Wyatt Lipman. Thought about the three, didn't take it. Instead, he finds McAllister, free throw line extended. Gets it off to Myers. Myers will attack the bucket. His shot is going to be no good. Rebound for the Bulldogs. That's Davis. He'll bring it into the front court and kick it off to Folk. Davis with three boards on the night now. 
And, you know, basically a first off team with a couple of seniors, they're playing pretty darn steady if they were playing a sophomore squad tonight. Well, they kind of got blitzed early in this one, had some turnovers there, and Grigsville Perry came out ready to play. But things have really slowed down the last three or four minutes here for this Bulldog squad, and they've done a better job taking care of the basketball and really kind of understanding the soft spots of this Grigsville Perry zone. Yeah, Woodward and just about got caught on the back door there, and that long arm protected him. And that's the thing about Garrett Woodward. He has grown a lot and gotten longer. Now White in the game and also Kirk in the game for the first time tonight. Yep, first time into the ball game for those two tornadoes as Davis is three, no good from the right wing. Kirk gets the rebound for Grigsville Perry. He gets it off to Wyatt Lipkin, who will push it into the front court. And he'll get it off top to Brother Lane with 2.10 to play here in the first half. Pass is going to be deflected. Out of bounds off the Bulldogs. It'll be Grigsville Perry basketball. Now is a good time for some of these other guys on the bench to get in the game that are going to be part of that eight, nine-man rotation and make sure you can be helpful. Eli White will be the man to catch the pass on the inbound forward Grigsville Perry. He'll get it to Lane Lipkin, right wing with it. That's Wyatt Lipkin. Down low to Michael Myers, one dribble. His shot is up and good. Myers has got another two. 19 on the night for him. 19 first half points for Michael Myers. Grigsville Perry has the 45-9 lead. And with it for the Bulldogs, left wing, that is Aller. We talked about you need to take care of business, and right now, Grigsville doing that. The second thing is avoid injuries on a game like this. Yeah, right now I think the two points that Garrett White is probably most pleased with Scoreboard excluded in this one, Jack, would be no turnovers right now for the Tornadoes. Right. And they've done a good job controlling the defensive class, haven't really allowed offensive rebounds, and that's what tends to hurt the Tornadoes most as Davis will miss the long three. Kirk got the rebound, his second. And into the front court for the Tornadoes, Lane Lipkin. Nice pass down low, that's to Kirk. Out I wish Kirk would have looked to score there, though. I think, you know, that's where you gain that confidence in a game like this. We did see Kirk, as we'll see Myers, put up another two. He's got 21. We saw Kirk in the ballgame last week that we brought to you here on Central Illinois Sports. Hit Had four points in the ballgame against Triopia, including hitting two big free throws for this squad that really helped them seal the victory. So Flint Kirk, a guy who comes out, he's definitely who Garrett White goes to when he wants some energy out on the floor as Turley's going to get his first two points of the ball game. But Kirk is the guy who brings energy to his squad. Michael Myers quickly into the front court, couldn't get the dunk to go. He'll get the offensive rebound. His putback is up and good. He's got 23. And we've seen Grigsville Perry has pulled back into the half court defense. They did that here early in the second quarter, but it's going to be a turnover against the Bulldogs. It's an over and back, their 15th turnover of the first half. And Grigsville Perry has it with 10 seconds to go. They'll look for the final shot of the half. Lane Lipman will hand it off to Wyatt. He'll use the screen from Michael Myers. Left wing with it. Michael Myers, his three is up and good. Michael Myers with 24 points here in the first half of play as his Grigsville Perry squad takes the 52 to 11 lead into the half. Grigsville Perry with a big first half here, and that takes us to the Little Jess Motors halftime show. When we come back, we'll give you shooting percentages and some of our other first half stats. We're back after these. Today's halftime show is brought to you by Little Jess Motor Company. Warmer weather and topless doorless adventures are right around the corner. Stop out to Little Jess today to check out our large selection of Jeep Wranglers. We currently have 15 Wranglers in stock and many more on their way. Right now you can drive a new 2024 Jeep Wrangler two-door sport for only $4.99 per month with absolutely zero down. Is a four-door more your style? Drive a 2024 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sport for only $5.99 per month with zero down. Little Jess serving the Tri-States for seven decades. Are you short on time or budget, but your family is hungry? It's time for the Maya Authentic Mexican Restaurant in Pittsfield. Try the Maya Special, a crowd favorite. Delicious grilled fajitas, steaks, nachos Mexicano, salads in the tortilla bowl, the tastiest salsa and cheese sauce around, and the fastest service anywhere. You can afford it. It's the Maya Mexican Restaurant on Washington Street. Call ahead with your order and you can pick it up in the drive through 217-285-4526. The Maya Restaurant. In Pittsfield. For nearly 40 years, the Niebuhr Funeral Home has been serving our area with professionalism and compassion. This is our business, our hometown. You can be assured we take great personal pride 
in serving your family in your time of loss. We're locally owned. We're your friends and neighbors. We care about you and your family. Niebuhr Funeral Home, with locations in Pittsville and Barrie, serving our community with compassion and respect. Cedar Lake Campground has been owned and operated by the Cranberg family for over 50 years. Located off of Highway 24 between Coatesburg and Camp Point, Cedar Lake Campground is a quiet family campground that you're sure to enjoy. With 60 RV spots with water and electric and our five-acre lake, it's a perfect spot for a weekend spent fishing, spending time with family, and enjoying the great outdoors. Find out more about Cedar Lake Campground on Facebook or call 217-455-4602. First quarter, 35 to 5, halftime 52 to 11 in favor of Grigsville Perry. They have not turned the ball over. Two guys with a foul apiece on one side, three fouls on the other side on Jacob Hyen, two fouls on Preston Steinkruger, and uh, that's really all the uh, foul trouble in the first half. Grigsville Perry on the night is shooting 20 of 30 on the night, 67%, 6 of 12 from the arc, 50% but just two of seven from the free throw line. On the other side, five of 23, no, four of 23, Fort Greenview. Two of those uh, 23 shots have been three-pointers in nine attempts, and they have not shot a free throw. 52 to 11 here at halftime on the Little Jess Motors. Halftime show, Little Jess, Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, Quincy, Illinois. More comes your way after these. At Full Throttle Parts, we do spray on bed liners. A brand called Patriot Liner. It is very elite. It actually enhances the resale value of anything you put it on, on or off road. Go full throttle. Go full throttle. Hey, West Central Illinois, are you looking for a great deal on a vehicle? Well, at West Town Ford, we have a lot full of vehicles cars, trucks, vans, SUVs. We've got them all, and a lot of them, at West Town Ford in Jacksonville. Make your dream kitchen and bath a reality with help from Pike County Lumber. We'll create a design to fit your lifestyle and your needs. Quartz countertops, quality onyx that offers dozens of colors. From start to finish, trust the knowledge and experience at Pike County Lumber. Press Shears on You would like to wish all the area teams the best of luck this year. If you're looking to get your team shirts or just looking for spirit wear for yourself, remember Press Shears on You. We have over 1,400 square foot of retail space in our shop. Stop by and see us and check out our offerings. Business lets us help you promote your brand. Decoration methods we offer include screen printing, embroidery, and laser engraving. Thank you to everyone in our community for the support over the last 16 years. Thank you for supporting local. Press Shears on You, 506 West Wood. Camp Point, Illinois. 52 to 11, a 41 point lead here at halftime in a game that's been all Grigsville Perry. And that's not surprising. Nine of the 12 kids on Greenview are sophomores and freshmen, and of course, a heavily laden senior class. And we can tell you that the Lipkin boys and Michael Myers will play in our All Star game on St. Patty's Day on March the 17th on a Sunday in the afternoon at Boschel Gymnasium. They'll join 27 other young people to play in that all-star game. As we look at some individuals scoring in the first half, Nick Hurley has three points, five points for Carson Davis, and a two for Jackson Ford. On the other side, Michael Myers has 26 points in the first half. Uh, we also have Wyatt Lipkeman with 11. Three points for Logan Fensick, a two for Dane McAllister, two for Garrett Woodward, and Lane Lipkeman adds seven in the first half. A 52 to 11 halftime lead on the Little Jets Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram in Quincy, Illinois halftime show. The place to go for your next vehicle purchase. Their staff is committed to making the car buying process simple and making sure each customer's needs are satisfied. 3431 Main Street across from Quincy High School, littlejessmotor.com. 52 11 at halftime. Second half play by play comes your way in just a little while. 
Since 1921, Farmer State Bank of Camp Point has been a vital part of our community's history. We are proud of our growth, our community leadership, and our success, which is only possible because of all those who shared this journey with us. We are grateful to the generations of loyal customers, families, businesses, employees, officers, and directors who have shaped not only our story, but our entire communities. Thank you. We look forward to serving you and your future generations for the next 100 years. Farmer State Bank and Camp Point. Together, we are a strong United Community. Stotsy Automotive and Tire, located at 201 Adams Street in Camp Point, Illinois, is your local automotive repair shop. Whether you need an oil change, brake job, alignment engine repair, or new tires, Stott C Automotive is here with honest and competitive pricing. Call Reagan and his team today to schedule your appointment. 217-740-5010. That's 217-740-5010 for Stott C Automotive and Tire. Griffin Signs in Time at 122 South 9th Street in Quincy is a full-service sign company that can complete any project. From fully wrapping your entire fleet of vehicles, digital signs, storefronts, to creating small banners and signs. The right and professional signage is the difference of getting the job, heading folks in the correct direction to find you, or creating a brand recognition for potential customers. Put the right signs in your customer's mind with Griffin Signs in Time. Call 217-228-7470. United Community Bank has been serving our community in banking since 1973 and is a proud member of the Pittsfield Strong United Community. UCB brings you the latest banking technology, security, and convenience you expect. Delivered with friendly local service you deserve from your community bank. UCB invites you to stop in for a visit at number one professional plaza in Pittsfield or you can find them online at ucbbank.com. United Community Bank, the leader of community banking, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Sign up for a Saki Rewards debit card card. GSI grain bins are built using the highest strength steel available. This allows you to store more grain to maximize your profitability and efficiency. Buy one now and receive our winter discount program. Make sure Lumber Company, your GSI grain bin dealer. Camp Point Central Sports are proud to have Dew Wester Grain as a sponsor of this broadcast. Dew Wester Grain, there for you for all your grain and feed needs. Why don't you give them a call and check out all the locations of Dew Wester Grain. With locations in Golden, Paloma, Mount Sterling, Clayton, La Prairie, Liberty, Industry, Carthage, and Blandonsville. For more information, call Dear Western Grain Services, 696-4461. That's 696-4461 or on the web at DearWesterGrain.com. Welcome to Douglas Automotive and Tire, your expert truck and car repair center in Pittsfield, Illinois. We provide full service from oil changes to new tires and everything in between. Contact us today to schedule service. We're located at 303 West Jefferson Street in Pittsfield, Illinois. Call 217-922-0064. That's 217-922-0064. Britain and the gang know cars, and if you need repairs, call Douglas Automotive today for all your repairs. Second half just about ready to get underway here. A 52 to 11 lead for Grigsville Perry here at the Nick. The seniors last time at the Nick, folks, and kind of cool. That's Rory Phillips along with Wyatt Lipkeman, also Dane McAllister, Michael Myers, Lane Lipkeman, and Eli White. These kids have been together for a long time. We covered them in the junior high state tournament a lot of different times, and kids who have had a lot of success in their careers. The second half here, good chance to blend some people in and out. They'll start the regular starters to start the second half. I do well. You don't see Rush out there right now, but nope. Uh, they'll start. They'll start Myers, Fensick, McAllister, Lipkman, and Lipkman. And we we had a chance to interview the six senior basketball players after senior night last week. The senior manager Mason Bolton want to also recognize the three Tornado senior cheerleaders. Natalie Irvin, Bella Shoemaker, and Logan Hobson. I'm going to tell you right now, Brett and Sarah Lipkeman have lost probably $80 to grandkids already tonight. <laughs> and the half court, halftime show was sponsored by them as we see Myers will start the third quarter with a backdoor cut. His layup is up and good. He'll go to the line looking to complete the and one. Nice feed to McAllister, there, or from McAllister to Myers. And the third quarter starts just like the second quarter ended. A three-point play by McAllister, or by Myers, and he's got 29 in the ballgame. 29 points in the first half in a few seconds. Not too bad. 
It'll be Bulldogs basketball as they will have Davis out on the floor along with Folk, Hyen, Turley, and the fifth man on the floor is Steinkruger. Their original starting five for the Bulldogs. Turley has the basketball. He'll go right wing with it to Davis. And Davis will get it to Folk. Bulldogs looking to slow things up a little bit here and get themselves into an offense. And Folk was in a double team right in front of his bench. Throws it off of the leg of Myers. It will remain Bulldogs basketball. Getting pinned on that sideline a little bit. They need to keep that ball flowing across the middle. Yeah, the, uh, the best way to beat a zone defense is obviously quick passes. Don't get the ball on the floor as the Bulldogs miss shot. Myers with the rebound into the front court. Three-pointer for him is going to be off the iron. No good. Rebound comes down to Folk. And Folk will get it into the front court to Davis. Davis picks up his dribble, goes back out top to Folk. And Grigsville Perry, it looks like Jack, for a minute, was almost in a 2-3. But their weak side defender is really helping out right now as the Bulldogs are kind of in an overload. Bulldogs basketball is near steal. And it will remain Bulldogs basketball. Grigsville Perry's McCallis gambled a little bit more here. Yeah, McAllister looked like he hurt himself a little bit on that play. He kind of came up lame. McAllister's been battling through a bum ankle ever since the Winchester tournament as the Bulldogs will start the, or will have a missed shot there. Wyatt Lipman gets it down low to Myers. Myers bucket up and good. He'll go to the line for another and one opportunity as he was fouled by Steinkruger. 31 points. Steinkruger's going to pick up his third. Second foul of the third quarter. Six, 16 left on the clock as I look around some framing and Three new guys will come in as Rory Phillips into the contest. Woodward, I think, back in. And, and Brody Rush, Brody the Rush, third yeah. man. And for the Bulldogs, Reed Oller will check into the ball game. Myers gets the and one to go. He's got 32 points here in this one. And it's Bulldogs basketball, 6-12 to play here, third quarter action. With the basketball out top is Oller. He'll go right wing to Davis. Davis being guarded by Brody Rush. And with it, left wing is Davis. Davis back out top. Folk thought about the skip pass. Elected instead to get the ball right wing. That's to Turley. See, you're different to me. I'd probably go with the Grinnell offense now and just let the other team score. But uh, Rush is going to pick up the foul the first to the th third quarter against well, Perry. you know, Grigsville Perry obviously uh, has led 1A basketball throughout most of the season with the least amount of points allowed. They don't want to give that up here, although records start all over again. And the postseason has a nice spin move right there by Turley to get the bucket. He's got two. Give him five in the ballgame. Brody Rush into the front court. He'll run the offense for the Tornadoes. We'll see him do that a lot next year. Get the spacing right there, boys. When you get a second chance to play, you want to do it the right way. Myers will put the ball on the floor. His shot is up and no good. Rebound tipped around, finally controlled by Turley. And the Bulldogs bring it into the front court. With it is Aller. Was a double team there, and all of a sudden there wasn't a tornado defender. Aller kicks it out top. That's Turley. And with the basketball is Folk. Davis is one of the seniors on this Bulldog squad. He pulls up for the three. Shot is no good. Phillips with the rebound for Grigsville Perry. His first. He'll dish it to Myers. Myers will go coast to coast. Layup attempt up and no good. And then Myers will be whistled for the foul in the backcourt. That'll be his first second team foul of the quarter. You know, you don't want to try too hard when you're trying to accomplish some things, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. But uh, sometimes you kind of force things. Trying to make some things happen. You just got to let the game come to you. It'll be Bulldogs basketball almost halfway through quarter number three. Grigsville Perry leading 58-13. Aller with it. His pass is stolen away. Woodward with the steal. He'll get it to Myers. Myers will go coast to coast from there. He'll put up the shot. It's no good. And offensive rebound to Fensick. He'll go right wing with it to Myers. Out top has Woodward. 
Right wing now for the three. Myers shot is up and no good, and whereas everything was falling in the first two quarters for Myers, he had six quick points to start quarter number three. Can't get him to fall here lately. Myers trying to get career point number 1,000 here in this one. Ten points shy of it now. Can you shoot from the other end even if it goes to the other team? Well, it, you can, but uh, you just credit the uh, nearest guy there. So Myers might help somebody else pad their stats as Rory Phillips is going to be whistled for the foul. His first team third, 3.43 left in the quarter. And Fensick comes out of the game for just a little while as we see Lister in. Yep. Braden Lister is the 5'10 junior. He checks into the ball game. That'll put Rory Phillips into the middle on this zone for Grigsville Perry. Pass the strip, stolen away, rush with it. He'll get it to Woodward. Woodward will pull it back out and go left wing with it to Myers. Myers now puts it on the floor. He'll pull up for another two. His shot is up and good. 34 on the night for him, 60 to 13. Davis with a nice spin move. He gets free throw line, goes left wing to Turley. Three-pointer for him is no good. Brody Rush with the rebound, and the young freshman quickly looks to go coast to coast. His shot is up. It's going to be blocked from behind. It'll go out of bounds. Possession will remain with the Tornadoes, as we'll see Flint Kirk check into the ball game, And he will replace Michael Myers. 3.13 to play here in the contest. And Lister will be the inbound man for Grigsville Perry. He'll get it out top. That's to Rush. To Woodward. Woodward is a man that Grigsville Perry could really afford to or would like to see get going as he can put up some points for this Tornado squad, and he's come through with some big games for them when they've needed it most. Woodward will go out top to Lister, then to Phillips. Back out top to Lister. Right wing is Woodward. Skips it cross court. Rush thought about the three. Doesn't take it. Nice find down low from Braden Lister to Flint Kirk. Kirk's got two points. And that was good ball movement right there for the Tornadoes as every man touched the basketball out on the floor. I bet Eric Lister got that shot for us. What do you want to bet? Yeah, long three right there was no good. Woodward had the rebound for Griggs O'Perry. Out top with it is Lister. And left wing with it now is Phillips. Phillips skips it top of the key to Lister. Holds it high above his head. Thought about the three, doesn't take it. Pass from Lister will go out of bounds. It'll be the first turnover of the ball game. Very first Grigsville turnover Perry. against Griggsville Perry comes at the 2-13 mark of the third quarter, and I haven't seen that in a long time. We'll see Matthew Stouffer check into the ball game for the first time in this one. Stouffer is a freshman for this Bulldog squad. And Davis will bring it into the front court and get it off to Turley. Turley puts it on the floor, kicks it right wing. That's to Folk. Thought about the three, doesn't take it. Instead, he'll throw the pass down low to Stouffer. Ball's going to go out of bounds. It will be Griggsville Perry basketball. 18th turnover, but just three in the second half on Greenview. So halftime talk kind of helped them out a little bit. Yeah, they've really had better care of the basketball since the first 10 or 11 minutes of this one as Woodward has the basketball in the short corner for Grigsville Perry. He'll get it out to Kirk, who'll get it to Lister. And now Phillips has it with a minute 30 to go here in the quarter. Nice find to Woodward down low. His shot was no good. Rebound taken off by Turley. He quickly pushes it into the front court for this Bulldog squad. Turley playing his last game of his high school career, so you know he wants to finish strong. And spin move there from Turley, then he'll get it off to Folk. Bulldogs have the basketball, a minute 10 to go here, third quarter action. Down low with it, nice job to catch it right there was Davis. Davis had nothing that he could do with it, though. His pass is stolen away by a rush. Rush will go coast to coast, layup up and good, and he'll go to the line for the and one as he was fouled by Jeremy Folk. Rush's first points of the night, Folk's first foul of the night. Woodward sits down, Eli White into the game, one of those seniors we talked about. Team third, I thought him for four, but you might be right. Rush makes that one. Jack Eli White's out on the floor, and here's a guy who's playing, I believe, in about his 100th career game and averages less than a point per game, really doesn't care if he touches the ball on the offensive end or gets a shot opportunity. All he wants to do is find a way for his team to win, and he'll do any of the little things possible 
and that's what makes teams successful. And he's and a kid that's really worked hard. Yep. Turnover for a turnover right there. As Folk got the steal, he goes coast to coast, attacks the defender. His shot is up and good. He's got his first two of the ball game. Good for him. 30 seconds left in the quarter. Griggsville Perry on the attack, winning 65-15. And there's points for White. Nice find right there from Phillips as he was the man at the free throw line. A little high-low action to Eli White. Senior to senior right there. Eli White's got his first two points. And the Bulldogs have the basketball. Ten seconds to go here in quarter number three. Turley puts up the long three. His shot is no good. Offensive rebound for Aller. He gets it back to Folk. Folk will put up the three as time expires. Shot is up and no good. And that'll do it through three quarters here. It'll take us to the fourth quarter with Gregsville Perry leading Greenview 67-15. to Welcome to Douglas Automotive and Tire, your expert trek and car repair center in Pittsfield, Illinois. We provide full service from oil changes to new tires and everything in between. Contact us today to schedule service. We're located at 303 West Jefferson Street in Pittsfield, Illinois. Call 217-922-0064. That's 217-922-0064. Britain and the gang know cars, and if you need repairs, call Douglas Automotive today for all your repairs. The Liquor Booth is your home for a huge selection of beer, wine, and spirits. The Liquor Booth has two locations in Quincy, 3520 Broadway and 1500 North 12th Street. The Liquor Booth, where it's always happy hour. 67 to 15 after three quarters, running clock, fourth quarter. Rigsville Perry, 26 of 42, 6 of 14, 5 of 10. Greenview, 5 of 33, 2 of 15, and they are 0 for 2 from the free throw line, I do believe. I want to remind you about Bowler's Universe. Bowler's Universe is open Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m., Fridays until midnight, and Saturdays, 4 p.m. to midnight. Bowler's Universe offers many menu items from burgers and fries to specialty pizzas. Come out and enjoy the fun at Bowler's Universe in Pittsfield. And also make sure to take a look at the Pike County Express, your local family-owned newspaper serving Pike County since 1991. Check it out each Wednesday on a newsstand near you. Rush will have the basketball to start the fourth quarter. Knocked away from him. He tracks it back down, but then it'll be a foul against the Bulldogs. Davis's second team first fourth quarter, and the clock ticks away, and it'll disappear quickly tonight. Rush is out on the floor along with Eli White, Braden Lister, Rory Phillips, and Flint Kirk. And Rush will bring it across the time stripe. 7.30 to go here, quarter number four. Eli White with the basketball. Gets it to Flint Kirk, down low to Phillips, back door to Kirk. He kicks it out. Eli White tracks it down, and he'll find Rush. In the corner with it is Kirk. His pass is going to be deflected and stolen away. Turnover against Griggsville Perry. Quickly into the front court for the Bulldogs. Turley puts up the three. His shot is no good. Kirk gets the rebound. He's got three. And Rush brings it into the front court. He's going to be fouled on the drive by Davis, and that'll be Davis' third. Third, second team foul, fourth quarter. Tick, tick, tick goes the clock, 6.50 left. Gregsville Perry, six minutes and 45 seconds away from advancing to the regional semifinals to be played Wednesday night in New Berlin. We'll have that for you here live on Central Illinois Sports. As Kirk with the basketball. That'll be one of three games we'll bring your way. We'll be at Warsaw for... Pittsfield and Pleasant Plains, also at Liberty on Wednesday night. Kirk with the shot, right, left wing. Don't see Kirk step out and take that shot too often, but he looked comfortable doing it there. He's got four. And before those games on Wednesday night, make sure you tune in to Central Illinois Sports tomorrow night as we'll bring you sectional girls basketball live from Beardstown as the Central Southeastern girls will take on Staunton in a contest that Charlie and Brian will bring to you live here on Central Illinois Sports. As Rush gets the basketball, he goes coast to coast for another two. He's got four. Five on the night. Made the free throw, I think, didn't he? Yeah, I think he did. Forgot yep. he had the end yep. one. Five. Always trying to take those points away from those freshman kids. They're afraid you're going to beat your record, I think, aren't you? Well, they beat my record just by stepping on the floor, so... No worries there as we see check into the ballgame for the first time in this one. Hunter Brown is the freshman. Hunter Brown with his first varsity action 
Eli White takes a seat for his squad. Left wing, Davis three, up and good. Phillips with the rebound for the Tornadoes. He gets it off to Rush. Who will get it to Lister? And Kirk has it, right wing. Finds Braden Lister streaking to the bucket. His shot is up and no good. Offensive rebound, fought fork. Come down with it, Kirk. Hunter Brown with the rebound. His bucket is up and good. And Hunter Brown's got his first two varsity points. Nice job there following the missed shots to track it down. Into the front court with it for the Bulldogs. That's Folk. Bulldogs have the basketball, 440 to play here in the contest. Davis will put up the three. His shot is no good. Rebound tracked down by Aller, and the Bulldogs have another shot here. Left wing with it now is Folk. And Folk will go out top with it. That's to Aller. He's going to pull up for the three. Kirk will get the rebound for the Tornadoes. Kirk's Kirk. got six boards now. Nice minutes here in this one from Kirk. As Rush has the basketball now. He was he'll the big guy in junior high, and then he, like me, didn't grow much, but he still plays big under the basket. You're not going to move him out on the floor, though, Jack. Well, I wish he was a football player, too, the size that boy's got. Rush takes it to the rim. His shot is up and no good. Phillips gets the offensive rebound for Griggs Perry. He kicks it out top. That's to Lister. I'd like to see Phillips get a couple points here, too, if they could get him the ball. Yeah, he just hasn't looked to score yet. Nice shot fake for him. He'll go up. Shot can't fall, and Turley with the rebound for the Bulldogs. Nice step through move. His shot is up and no good. Rush gets the rebound. He'll spin move and get it into the front court and go to Lister left wing with three and a half to play. To Kirk, to Phillips. Kirk thought about taking the three, didn't take it. They're yelling. They're yelling, I think, right now at Rory Phillips saying, shoot the ball, will you? Hunter Brown says, I'll shoot it. His shot's no good. Turley with the rebound. This is a tough contest right here, as will be an offensive foul on the play. Rush takes the charge, as Turley is going to be whistled for the foul there. Checking into the ball game now for Griggsville Perry be the sophomore Jackson Dorsey. Dorsey will replace Brody Rush, and then we'll also see the freshman. Cajun Austin. Austin wears number one. Okay. Dorsey wears number 30. And also out on the floor, number 10 is Hunter Brown for the Tornadoes. So who's number one again? Cajun Austin is a freshman on this squad. Cajun Austin. He's a hot player, apparently. What's Dorsey's first Dorsey's name? Dorsey's number is 30. Jackson Dorsey is Jackson, his. What a great first yep. name. And these are kids that Garrett White is taking advantage of the opportunity, he wants to dress as many guys as he can for postseason action. Never know when you're going to need a body, whether it's for a foul or what. Lister's shot is no good. Offensive rebound, going to be knocked out of bounds. Possession will remain with Gregsville Perry. And it gives an opportunity for some of these younger kids that have practiced all season long and been there to get to have the postseason experience as Connor. Cordy checks into the ballgame for the Bulldogs for the first time in this one, along with Henry Wooler. And the third new man out on the floor is Neil Schnoor for the Bulldogs. Inbound comes to Phillips. He'll get it out top to Dorsey. Left wing with it, Hunter Brown. His three-pointer is up. It is up. It is no good. And it will remain Grigsville Perry basketball. A minute 30 to go here in this one. Get the ball to Phillips. Listen to yeah. me. <laughs> well, you know, Jack, that doesn't happen very often. Brown said I couldn't get it from the other side. I'll take it from the right wing. His three is up and good. He's got five points. And Rory Phillips celebrating that three on the way down. That's a kid right there in Phillips who enjoys seeing his teammates be successful out on the floor. But right now, Rory Phillips has a minute left in this one to try to get a point here for the senior on his last game of the season. At the nick, anyway. You got more Austin's going to hand it off to Phillips. Phillips out top with it. He'll go to Hunter Brown. Hunter Brown skips it to Phillips. Phillips is going to put up the three. Shot is just shy. Hunter Brown with the offensive rebound. His putback is no good. Braden Lister gets the offensive rebound. His putback is no good as it hits one of the cables up above. And, and who put that cable up there many years yeah. ago? We'll see... Phillips check out of the contest in this one as Kirk checks back in. Well, Jack, I can guarantee you 
it was neither one of us because Heights and Jack and Damon do not get yeah, along well. We, we don't do ladders. We don't do step ladders. We don't even talk, well, walk on tall grass. Ladders don't handle us real well either. As the Bulldogs have it in the corner, long three-pointer is up and no good for Stouffer. Cajun Austin with the rebound. He's going to go coast to coast, and he will score two as the freshman had an opportunity right there to take it coast to coast. Garrett White didn't really want him to score, but when you're a freshman getting your first varsity minutes, it's hard to not take the opportunity. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. We have reached the Blessing Health Services postgame show, 78-15. Back to tell you more after these. We do a procedure called a transcatheter aortic valve replacement, and we call it TAVR. TAVR is state of the art. It uh, wasn't really available worldwide until the early 2000s. It's a minimally invasive procedure in order to replace the valve. I'm number one. I was number 100. Years ago, they would have to do open heart surgery, and now they don't. Had I not had it done, I would not be here today. I feel like I'm living on a bonus of blessings. Damon Plumbing, serving all of Pike County and the surrounding area with quality residential and commercial plumbing services. Damon Plumbing offers septic installation, drain cleaning, new water lines, remodel work for your home, or if you're planning a new build, make sure you include the Damon Boys. To get it right the first time, no job too big. Have you seen Brayden and Doug? Or too small? Sorry, Corby, couldn't resist. Call Brayden at 217-491-5415 or Doug at 217-617-2318. Damon Plumbing, recommended by our family for your family. The caring and experienced professionals at Hamilton Funeral Homes are here to support you through this difficult time. We offer a range of personalized services to suit your family's wishes and requirements. You can count on us to help you plan a personal, lasting tribute to your loved one. And we'll carefully guide you through the many decisions that must be made during this challenging time. You're welcome to call us at any time of the day, any day of the week. Visit our funeral home in person or on the web at hamiltonfuneralhome.com. Call 217-593-6000. 517. Luke and Aaron Fessler at Fessler Insurance are here to help you with all of your insurance needs. Fessler Insurance, a country financial agency, provides life, health, auto, home, and farm insurance. Trust your insurance needs to the local folks at Fessler Insurance. Call for a quote today at 217-285-4429 or stop by at 1165 West Washington Street in Pittsfield for Fessler Insurance. Jersey's world, Jersey's world, party time, excellent, blue, party on Jane, party on Todd. Jersey's Bar and Grill in Cam Point, where you can find the best burgers, sandwiches, and steaks, all locally sourced from GJY Beef Company. We love beer. We love beer. Ice cold draft beer. Enjoy one of our many craft selections on the patio, all at Jersey's Bar and Grill, 109 East Jefferson, Cam Point, Illinois. One size fits all. That may be all right for an adjustable belt or cheap sunglasses, but when it comes to your financial needs, no one wants a one size fits all strategy. Derek Harris is your Pike and Adams County area Edward Jones financial advisor. Derek Harris's most important goals are yours. That's why Derek will take the time to understand your needs so he can recommend personalized strategies with your goals in mind. Contact Derek Harris today at 217 222 7173. Knowing you, that's how Edward Jones makes sense of investing. Member SIPC. Welcome back on the Blessing Health Services Alina Community Hospital post game show. 35 5 after one quarter, 52 11 after two, 67 15 after three. And the youngsters from Griggsville Perry threw the shutout in the fourth quarter and win it 78 15. Griggsville Perry was 31 of 55, 56%, 7 of 17 from the arc, 41%, 5 of 10 from the free throw line. Greenview was 5 of 39, 12.8%, 2 of 19, and they were 1 of 2 from the free throw line. They had 6 points from Nick Turley. Carson Davis had 5, 2 for Jeremy Folk, and also 2 for Jackson Ford. For Griggsville Perry, Michael Myers had 34 tonight. 11 points all in the first half for Wyatt Lipkeman. Also, Flint Kirk had uh, 4 points and 6 boards from the reserve ball. Logan Fincic hit a three. Dane McAllister with two. Garrett White with two. Brody Resch had five to go with three rebounds. Lane Lipkeman had seven early points. Eli White got a bucket in his senior night. Hunter Brown got five on the evening. And Cajun Austin got a two-pointer. 
for the big win tonight. We're joined by Garrett White after the game. And, Garrett, first of all, first mission accomplished, and that's take care of business and come out of the game with no injuries. I think that was real important. Yeah, absolutely. Um, got to move on in the postseason. You got to got to stay healthy. And uh, that's that's why you saw us getting our guys out of there early third quarter. Um, dressed some guys up here in the postseason that hadn't got to play varsity all year, so they got to get their feet wet a little bit there in the fourth quarter. And uh, just a good, good, well-rounded team effort, accomplished what we need to accomplish, and uh, got out of here with a win. Well, you know, Steve Dunham's wanting an interview, but we know we want to stay on the air, so we can't go to him. But, you know, as we, as we take a look, at a couple of things that I hope to see for your team in the postseason I think will make a difference. We know that Lane and Wyatt are going to get their points. We know Michael's going to get his points. If you can get those two big guys to square their shoulders up, Fensick showed in the Winchester tournament he can hit that three from about anywhere and ain't nobody going to block it. And if Dane McAllister gets those shoulders squared up, it really makes a difference. He looked like he had just a little bit of a, of a soreness in a, in a leg there, but everybody seemed to be pretty good at the end of the game. Yeah, he, he tweaked his ankle down at um, Calhoun, but he has a very high pain tolerance. He's a very tough kid, so he's a senior. That's not going to stop him from playing anytime soon. But you're right, we're a lot better team when, when Dane and Logan and Woodward as well are able to help fill in the scoring column for us and uh, ha- have six different guys that can, can fill it up a little bit. So... Uh, we're going to need that. We know teams are going to key on the big three of ours, and we're going to need those other three to step up and hit some shots for us to go deep. As we step on to the next game, which we very likely think will be route, a team that, you know, you've seen, but kind of a, of a team that takes very good care of the basketball. Camp Point Central did not turn them over in the full court much, so that's a place you get a lot of points. What are a couple of things that you hope for your kids to be able to do, get in those passing lanes and cause some of that? Well, the first time we played them, we didn't turn them over a whole lot. We, we played a good ball game, uh, beat them 48-32 to 32 at their place, but we shot the lights out that night. And, I mean, of course you hope, you hope that's going to happen again, but, uh, you know, you're not always going to shoot that well. So, yeah, it would be nice if we did that, but uh, everybody knows – Everybody knows Bryson Mossman, and so obviously you got to pay special attention to him. And, um, you know, they've got some other capable kids as well. The Turner brothers are competitors. I know baseball might be their number one love, but those kids those kids don't back down from anything, either one of them. And then you got Isaac Long, who can shoot it as well. The Creviston kid's a good athlete. Uh, and you got Abel. Uh, Abel coming off the bench at 6'6", and he's been a difference maker for him here down the stretch. So they've... I mean, they just beat Auburn. They beat Camp Point. Um, so they've proven they can play with anybody. So do you lock your superintendent out for the next few days? Is that what you do? <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of a tough spot for him. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to give him a little yeah, hard time. What, huh? what's, what's that, Jack? You cut out there, Garrett. Didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Coach, coming coming into the uh, this week, obviously I know there was some frustration with, with how your team played last week. Uh, played Triopia a little bit closer than what you would have liked and then always tough to go down to Calhoun but you came away with two victories so what was your you know what was your preparation like these last few days got to get the kids back to to realizing especially now that postseason you can't afford to have a bad quarter or a bad ball game because that's going to end your season Well, well first off my message was last week you know maybe these six point games were good for us because we got to practice real postseason type situations where it's a close game you know we got to hold the ball and go lay up only here make our free throws and kind of put them in some good pressure situations that we haven't had a whole lot of this year uh, to be honest so I thought that was I thought that was good for us and credit Triopia who came in here and uh, played a really good ball game and as you said going down to Calhoun's no easy task there's a lot of talent on that team um, and so yeah, uh, we're just happy to get two wins. You know, you look across the area, and there's been a lot of close games. You know, West Central goes down to Carrollton. Carrollton gives them everything they got. There's been a lot of these types of games, so we were just happy to get wins. Uh, the message going forward and practice, sometimes they say this a lot in the NBA for those who watch it. They say it's a make-or-miss league, and it might just be as simple as what team makes their open shots in the postseason. I know you can get into X's and O's. You can get into defense and coverages and all these types of things, but – Sometimes just whatever has the team, the kids that step up and knock down the open ones is the team that moves on. I'm sorry, I watched the NBA All-Star game. Your kids are a lot better than that, (laughs) so I'm not going to talk about that. But when you 
get to play one more game at the Nick for these seniors, that had to mean a lot for you and them also. Yeah, I mean, it's special, and it's a special group, and it's a, a group that means an awful lot to me. And, uh, you know, and, and they're, they're all in on this. So we, we just want to make this thing go as long as we can. We want to play for Zach and play for each other and uh, make, this thing, make this thing memorable. Coach, obviously, uh, you know, as we talked about last week in the postgame interview, and you just touched upon it, Zach Thomas uh, was going to be a, a member of the team this year been a tough year emotionally uh for for this squad but what is it what does it say about your kids just the resilience that they have you know not only for the success that they've had on the floor but they've done so while honoring the memory of a fallen teammate and his zach's parents have been there every step of the way as well what's what's it say about your kids in this community um well coach stouffer taught me this a long time ago and i i preach it a lot it's more important to be a good person than it is to be a good player. And we've got really good kids on this team. And they know I'd do anything for them uh, for the rest of their lives. And um, the community, you never want to experience a tragedy like that. But it was amazing how the community came together. And the kids came together immediately when the news broke. You know, you had you had the ag kids going out and, and making the cross for them. And, the vigil and everything and um, he's been in our hearts this entire season we've been honoring him with his jersey and his name on the board and his his shoes each game and uh, he, he was one of the boys and um, he'd really had a lot of fun this season and I know he's been having fun watching this team and his parents as well it's been great to see them at all these games and I think you talked about coach Stouffer he's had some tough health issues great to see him here he's an inspiration to these kids too and it makes a lot of difference. And uh, so we wish you well the rest of the way. Damon will be there to cover your game on Wednesday night, and we'll hope to see you on Friday night too, but one game at a time, right, Coach? Absolutely. I told him it's one game at a time, and from here on out, it's it's big boy basketball, so we're going to be ready to play. I want to tell you, with the final of 78 to 15, and financial investments are important, but so are the investments of time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, parents, teachers, and mentors. Derek Harris, your Edward Jones financial advisor, understands this. That's why Derek Harris is a proud sponsor of the player of the game on Central Illinois Sports. And Damon, you're an old GP graduate. I don't think there's any doubt about the player of the game in this one. No, uh, Michael Myers in this one, Jack, came out and was ready to play from start to finish. Had a big uh, big way to start. Finished the uh, first half with a, with a nice three-point play. Started the third quarter with two three-point plays and just really came out and set the tone for his squad. They all did it on defense, but Michael Myers was their go-to guy on the offensive end in this one, and that's why Michael Myers is our Derek Harris, Edward Jones player of the game. And and Chris Durers, too, because he got a dunk right in front of him, so I'm sure he'll like that, too. Final in this one, 78-15 to for Eric Lister, John Hull, Damon Emmerich. I'm Jack Hull reminding you to hug your kids. Let them know how much you love them, and let them know Jesus loves them even more than you. Hug them every time. We'll see you next time.